Lux and Lux of Hairstyles and today we're going to do a fancy updo with a princess crown. It's going to be really great so keep watching. So I've just gone ahead and I've just taken the end of a rat tail comb and made a circle throughout my head and pulled up the middle pieces. I'm going to then pull these out of the way and just secure them with a clip. So now we're going to start French braiding along the part line. You're going to want to make sure that you only take small pieces from the top and you're going to want to pull the bottom pieces about two inches up, just doing a regular inside out French braid. I've sped it up so if you don't know how to French braid you can watch my tutorial. See how I pulled it over to hide the part line? So while I'm French braiding I'm going to be really careful about to pull my bangs into it and just like before we're going to take the front hairs closest to your bangs about two inches in and take really small pieces on the other side so it can hide the part line. If you have a lot of bangs like me, it's kind of tricky so it might be easier to hold them down at the bottom because if you're doing it to yourself. You're going to want to keep going around your head and when you finish French braiding, you're going to secure it with an elastic. So while I'm puff braiding, I'm going to want to make sure I pull it extra big on the parts where you can see my part, so hide it. Then I'm going to bobby pin it down and just leave it hanging underneath my first ponytail. See, it's a perfect circle and it's really cute. Now I'm going to take my baby socks that I've just cut the toe off of, pick up three sections of hair, divide it into three, and flip them out of your way. Now I'm going to brush it smooth, I'm going to take my sock, stick my two fingers in the part where you cut, grab the hair of my other fingers with the part you wear on your ankle facing towards your ponytail. Then I'm going to split my hair in half and just start rolling it over the sock. So I know I've just split it into three, but we're going to actually do it into four because you want to make sure that you have your pieces are equal. So I'm going to take the bottom ponytail part and I'm going to bring it under my first sock bun I've created and put it to the side just so it's out of the way for the second and third. Put the other piece away, take your new piece, brush it smoothly. You can use pomade if you want. You just want to make sure it has a real smooth effect because it gives it a pretty glossier look. Roll it up. You can see the pink of the sock, but it doesn't matter because we'll hide it later. So now you can see all four of them and the piece of hair we left out on purpose. So I'm now I'm going to bobby pin them a bit so they hang just so I like them. The piece of hair we left out, you're going to want to anchor or else it will pull your sock buns out. So make sure you secure it with bobby pin. And once you have them laying like you want, go ahead and pull on the sides so that they're the right shape. And now I'm going to take my curling iron and I'm just going to curl the piece we left out. I'm going to squirt it with some hairspray if you want, but my hair holds up pretty well. Now I'm going to take it and purposely make a loop that matches the sock bun so I can have just a little less height, length. There you go. It's really cute. I really like this hairstyle. It's very elegant and give it a try. Thanks.